Welcome back to another episode of Guns and Cars. Today I'm going to test out the 17 HMR rounds out of my uh, Savage 9317 back there. So I'm going to test the uh, 17 grain ballistic tip from Hornady and then the 20 grain. Uh, they call it a soft point but looks more like a hollow point to me uh, from CCI. Um, I've had this gun oh, over a decade. And I've always preferred the 20 grains. Uh, the 17 grains, they hit real real hard up close. Uh, the 20 grains always seem to carry more energy long range, uh, especially beyond 100 yards. They still hit very hard, whereas the 17 grains did not. And also, if you go far enough out, the uh, 17 grainers, they won't even uh, expand because they they're, they're going too slow and the ballistic tip doesn't push back hard enough to expand them. Uh, so today's test is going to be pretty much point blank. I'm just going to be about... 10 feet back here I'm going to hit them uh, at a later date I will do a hundred yard retest and then uh, possibly uh, beyond a hundred yards too but for today we're just going to test them up close here about 10 feet back so if you don't want to miss the hundred yard video make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications uh, without further ado let's get to it all right so up first we'll hit it with the ballistic tip on the left side and then we'll hit the right side with the 20 grain uh, soft point, hollow point. Do this 20 grain real quick and then we'll get a better look at it. All right, so we got a really good capture there. Uh, entry was a little higher than I wanted, just barely. Uh, I got a high, high rise scope mount on that, so I was just guessing there, but it might have turned out in our favor because we get to see these awesome permanent cavities there. I'm gonna cut it up here in a sec. So you can even see the ballistic tip in there. And your bullet. Oh, there might be a fingerprint in the way there, but it's right there. And then there's your 20 grain and you can clearly see the bullet there too uh, they both almost penetrated just as far which I was surprised there's your 20 like I said uh, I don't know it looks like there's a fingerprint here from my thumb um, but the 17 grain went almost as far as just behind this one actually uh, let me get my tape measure real quick and we'll get some measurements on that before I cut this up this is a 10% ballistics gelatin, by the way, if I forgot to mention that in the beginning. Um, so again, it's difficult to see that uh, little 17 grain over there. And we got right at about 7 inches at the uh, furthest. And then, as you can see there, at 20, just a little bit further. Just a hair past 7 and a quarter. So, get some close-ups of these and uh, break this thing open. Yeah, you can see like it bubbled out the top there a little bit because it was a little close to the top and then that's right there and then there's the 20 grain uh honestly uh i expected the 17 grain to have a larger permanent cavity and uh, you can see here clearly the 20 grain does and it carried larger further so that's interesting the uh I don't know, they're about the same width. The 20 grain might be wider. Be interesting to see what these do at 100 yards. Definitely gonna do that in the future. 
you can kind of already see that that's mushroom nicely there. No telling what that 17 grain looks like until I get it out of there. So let me throw it up on my board here and we'll cut them up and see what the damage is throughout. One last look there before we cut into it. Sun's hitting it nice there. All right, so there's about an inch, inch and a half in. Pretty devastating. So there's the uh, entry there. Exit on that first piece. This is just, wow. Let me get a measurement on that real quick. So I guess the 17, if you count this split, the 17 grain did have larger area damage there coming in at about two and a half. That's, that's bumped up a little bit. About two and a half inches there to the top of this block. And it looks like this is the widest point here for this one. About two and a quarter. They had a split there just starting to come out the top of the block too. So let me another, cut another inch, inch and a half in here. Now I'm going to take it uh, about right there, just at the, pretty much at the back side of that 17 and still a lot more going on there. It's, I'm going to cut it right there. So then there's that. And that would be entry. Sorry there. That would be entry. 17 grain, 20 grain. And that would be the exit of that piece. So from up top it looked like the 20 grain was doing a lot more but uh cutting the block open here they look about even so now we're going to go about the same distance again uh, i'm going to cut it about right there and now from up here it looks like the channel is like pretty much just caliber diameter there whereas the 20 grain looks like it's doing more damage still at this point so we'll find out real quick i'm going to cut it right there All right, it's sticking to my blade a little bit. So there's that. Again, that would be entry, 17 grain, 20 grain. Then there's the back side. You can see 20 is just a little bit wider than the 17 there. So I just measured our pieces. That's four and a half inches in there. And we got inch and an eighth there. Three quarters of an inch there. So four and a half inches in. Once all the explosive damage is pretty much done, we still got an eighth of an inch split there and three quarter inch there. So now you can see in the 20 does a little bit more further in. So there's not much else to see there, so I'm actually just going to cut right behind these bullets and uh, we'll get them out of there and see what they look like. So, there's a 17, like I said, the 20 has a little further in there. I'll pluck these out and check them out. So this one should be right under the surface there okay set that aside for a second 
see if I can get this 20 grain out of here. There we go. Okay, so obviously uh, the 20 grain stayed together a lot better, which it should, because I know those 17 grain ballistic tips, they're just basically frangible rounds, at least at close ranges, so lost a lot of it there. There's the back side, and there's the back side of the 20 grain. I think you'll get a 9mm bullet for a comparison. That looks about as wide as a 9mm bullet there. Alright, so there you go. That is pretty much 9mm diameter. So, uh, that is pretty awesome expansion from that 17 caliber bullet, at least at uh, pretty much point blank range. So there's your results. Uh, like I said, I'm definitely going to be doing 100 yards uh, coming up, probably in a couple months, no longer, definitely by summer. Uh, so again, if you don't want to miss that, make sure you subscribe. Um, if you like this video, leave me a like. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.